pleased to have you for class today. We're going to use our band to um, help us with some arm exercises and then um, some leg exercises. So the first thing to do is just to pop the long band around your feet and sit up nice and tall. So you can bend your knees as much as you feel like you should, as long as you're sitting up as tall as possible. And then we're going to sit tall with the palms facing down and then we'll just pull the arms in with the palms looking in towards each other. And then as your arms go forward, the palms look down. So we pull in and then the palms look down as your arms are straight and in and back. So sit really nice and tall and think about your length. And I also think about bringing the elbows nice and close to the ribs. And this little rotation of the arm is quite important. So palms look down, palms look in. That's it. So once you've had a look at the, the screen and you know what to do, just look straight ahead. That's it, we're going to do four more now. And of course, you'll be able to adjust how hard this is, depending on how far down you hold the band, you can make it tighter looser. I think one more now. That's good. Uh -huh. And then the palms are still looking down and we're going to take the elbows wide and then back in. So we're just keeping some air under the arms this time. So as we lift, I always feel like I lift my chest up to aim it forward and up to keep that flat back. Now have a look at your wrists. <laughs> Sometimes they do funny things here, so a nice uh, straight line through the wrist. That way the effort's going to come from the shoulder, not the wrist and the forearm. That's it. Uh -huh. And then we're going to bring the arms, so the palms are looking in again. And I want you to bring one arm in, almost touch it to your ribs, and then the other. So we're going to alternate, pull, 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 pull. And then palms look down, lift up tall, one arm comes out wide, but you've got air under your arms and back. Then the other, and back, and pull, and back, pull, back. That's it, four more, one, two, three, four, and then we're just going to take the arms wide, okay? So a bit on a diagonal and back in, and then pull wide. Just four more here. One, two, three, four. Good work. Then we're going to take one foot out of the band and just have one leg in the band. And we're going to lay on our back and then this leg is going to come up to the ceiling. So just bring yourself down and the foot that's in the band will go straight up to the ceiling. Put your elbows down on the ground, open up your chest. Turn the toes to point outward a tiny bit. So the hips down and let your shoulders relax. Take a deep breath and then a breath out. Just let the weight of your ribs and your shoulders settle down. And what we'll do now is we'll lower the legs straight down and then fold at the hip to bring it back up. So this is um, important that we keep the, the spine nice and steady as the leg goes down and up. I've slightly turned my toes outward and I'm actually imagining drawing a nice straight line with my heel straight down and up, but I'm not putting my heel on the ground, I'm just taking it a little way. Good. And then leave the leg up there. We're going to just take it out to the side, down and around and back up. So leg circles. So we do four circles each way. That's two, three, and hips are steady, four, and then four around the other way, one, two, three, and four. 
Good, bend the knee in towards your chest and flex your foot and push the leg out and then draw it back in and push it out and bring it back in. Push it out and in. We'll do two more. That's good. And last one. Good. And then we just pop both feet there in the band and then put the other one down on the ground and toes up. Toes turned out a little way, hips square. Think of your Pilates box, the things you, you know about keeping nice and steady. And then, what was it? Uh, <laughs> down first and back up. So straight leg, lift and lower. That's it. Keeping length in the waist, feeling that movement of the thigh, just dropping back into the hip socket Getting a nice stretch at the back of the leg. Do two more. Nice work. Then we do our leg circles. So we're going to go out and around and back. One, two, three, and four. And then we go the other way. So almost straight down and then around and out. So it's a bit like a semicircle really. Two, three, and four. And then bend the knee in towards your chest, flex your foot, push out and bring it back in. Push out. I imagine that there's a big heavy box or something or a, sh or a cup, like a bookshelf and I'm pushing it away with my foot. And you might find you activate different muscles when you have that imagery. And that's good. That'll do. And then we put both feet into the band and both legs are up in tabletop. What we'll do now is you're going to push both legs out and bend both legs back in. So pushing out on a diagonal and bringing them back in. And out and in and out and in. Good. Put your feet down on the ground. You can unhook the band and then the band just reaches up over your chest. You're going to lift the hips up and push the band down over your thighs or your hips there. And do a little push down with the backs of the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hips go down, band comes up. Do that again. Lift the hips. Nice length in the arms. Make sure your wrists are doing the right thing. Here we go, little pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everything back and down. Then we're going to just give the chest a nice little stretch by opening the arms and then bring them together. And again, big stretch of the band and back. So you're going to breathe in as you pull, breathe out to come back, breathe in and out. Now breathe in as the arms go over your head. Just keep a little tension on the band and back and over and back. Two more with a lovely deep breath. Last one. Good, and then just bend your arms back and down. Roll over to the side, help yourself to sit up. I'm going to cross my legs, but if you prefer to have your legs out like this, that's okay. Maybe even grab that cushion that's nearby, just tuck it underneath you to help you sit tall. Have the hands here. Okay, get comfy, sit nice and tall, drop your shoulders. We lift the band up and then we're going to do a little pull behind us. Lift up and back. Come up with the arms, a little pull, up and back. We'll do two more, but this time let your chest go into a little lift as well. And back, last one, up. And back and down. And that's us all done. Nice work.